I promised you guys we would be jumping into Max Sword. Let's jump right into an incorrect summary of Metal Gear Rising Part 2. I already did Part 1, and something was rising when I was reacting to that video, and it was not the Metal Gear. Metal Gear Rising, Sons of Delivery, and DiGiorno is my favorite political and DiGiorno. economic simulator. Well intended to teach the player the basics of price slashing and how to best divide the country as quickly as possible. The answer, of course... Bro, bro, you do not need lessons on how to divide the country. It's manually. In this visually engaging stock market index, we play as Jack the Wood Chipper. Um <laughs> it's a stock market index. Man, probably, on a quest to renew the- Dude, I've seen some riding porn out there. I don't know why I'm starting the video with this, and, and I wonder why my videos get demonetized, but I've seen some, some quality riding bussy. Job market one life at a time. So if you've seen part one of my philosophically charged video essay on the deep and interesting Metal Gear lore, which I totally understand, then welcome back. And if you're viewing this series for the first time, well, that's technically okay. You're just gonna be more confused than an American <laughs> at a salad bar. <laughs> You're gonna be more confused than an American at a salad bar. Funny. Sins of obesity. Dude desperately needs to put epilepsy warnings on his videos. Because watching his videos is like looking at the inside of a woman's mind when she's upset. Editor, cut that out too. I'm, I'm a danger to society. Last time on Metal Gear Raisin, Guns of the Priests. But as for now, our <laughs> Last time, and he just plays the video super fast. <laughs> Last time. Protagonist Raiden with Biden is forced to argue with a decapitated <laughs> head about memes. That's not made up. I know the rest is made up, but that's genuine. Apple bottom jeans, Raiden. What? Boots with the fur. <laughs> Fresh off his adventures to the orange dimension and the insides of American police, it's up to our hero to avenge Obama's death through the slaughter of the unmelanated, learning the true Makes meaning sense. of based through many trials, tribulations, and his guest seat at the Joe Rogan podcast, finally finding himself at the entrance to Amazon warehouses with manageable stab wounds. Ugh, damn it, I need a token black person. What the fuck? He and Peel the- <laughs> What the fuck is he saying? Where does he get the inspiration for this dialogue? This blood loss has made me delirious. Tell me a story. There once was a sign. I don't know. I don't know. Holy shit. Raiden heads into the hotel lobby, hosted by Mr. Mosby. After which, the game sends the ATF to stop me from freeing the Second Amendment. I am forced to take matters into my own hands. This was back when turret sections were the pinnacle of game design. Excuse me, fellas, I'm just heading to this normal-sized elevator. Raiden, I'm playing another gotcha game, okay? Please destroy all records of my yes. credit card debt before the police come. Welcome, one and all cost, to a classic stealth game named Metal Gear. Welcome, one and all cost is not it, Chief. <laughs> Or is it it? Solid 2. We're currently undergoing a secret mission to destroy Scandalous Snake. Raiden, we, we have to prevent Joe Biden's America. You have to stop him. You're too late, Corn Pop. I have already vocoded your voice to Gangster's Paradise. We use our Batman vision to carefully locate the bank records and also the rocket launcher. This puzzle is a great way to simulate the real office experience yes. if you work for Blizzard. So after expunging the records of Overwatch 2, Raiden runs through fucking Black Friday. This makes Vietnam look like clown college. We even have a Richard Nixon. Rewriting the records of Overwatch 2 might be the craziest prediction I've ever seen. <laughs> that joke aged so well. This video was made a year ago. This was the best aged joke I've ever seen. <laughs> no the As you can see, the situation has escalated. Alright, alright, chat. I'm taking bets. How many Among Us references is he making in this video? I'm a Huey, and I'm coming. What is up, gamers? Maxor here, and today we're gonna be entering the, um, the, the, what the fuck? So it turns out that Bezos is a- And Genshin Impact, all right? How many references to Among Us and Genshin Impact? I would say like political jokes, but that's too easy. Real big fan of Japanese culture. Like a really big fan of Japanese- can, can we get some ones in the chat? I need you guys to keep count, because there's no shot I will be able to- Big fan of Japanese culture, to the extent that he filled this building with ninjas. Don't worry, they still use rockets. The decor is so goddamn oriental, it's killing dolphins. Raiden traverses the Hidden Leaf Village with the DK crew. Right. And enters the first elevator built and designed with elephants in mind. Or just your mom. On which we fight a gauntlet of enemies for several minutes as I reenact my trips to the Humane Society. You will never catch me, nor will you find the weapon. 
How tall is this fucking building? This is half of the level. So we get off of Mr. Bones' wild ride, which allows us to booze and cruise all the way to the moon, apparently. What is that music I hear? That's an Among Us reference! You heard the... You hear that? That's an Among Us reference! Oh golly, oh gee, oh Gillibrand. I can't wait to see what the game has in store for me now after all those long combat arena. What? So I want everyone to meet my cool under- Holy fuck, is that the girl from the porn? Original boss design named Mistral. This is essentially what the Patriots were doing the entire time. AI Dennis Prager was merely a distraction. These fuckers were synthesizing the- That was an Among Us reference to- that was a Nux jump scare? Yeah, every time Sans shows up, everyone says Nux jump scare. We're doing the entire time. AI Dennis Prager was merely a distraction. These uh, uh, the Among Us reference. were synthesizing VTubers, so now we're forced to fight their robotic fleshlight and her huge testicles. This battle's- Dude, I love fleshlights with testicles. I mean women. Serves as a great moment to see just how far you've come as a player, both in ability- Dude, there's really good hentai of her. I'm just saying. When I, uh, uh, uh for- uh, thumbnail, thumbnail, fat, pap. I don't even remember what I said, but he was it. ...and tolerance for the best game mechanic. Don't worry, though. I'm still very bad. That was another Among Us sound effect. Thank God that shit's over. Now we can move on. God damn it. Really bold move making me fight Monsoon again after 20 minutes. And yeah, that includes the pants attack. Fucking Skeletron Prime looking ass. I guess you could say a good meme never dies, Jack. God, please take me out of this hell. I've had enough memes today. Look, it, it's Shadow and he's a nice cock. True. Pretend you didn't see anything today. Well, 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 if it ain't the feds. Unhand these brains, Jeff. They're children. Yeah, kids are cruel, Jack. They just lose touch with it at the ripe old age of 12. You did not need to do that. Wait, what? War crime this, can't eat the drywall that. Microwave and mice is wrong, they say. What the fuck? No. <laughs> Microwave! In order for this thumbnail to slap, I got a fat thank you for remembering. I told you, kids love video games. Mention Genshin Impact, mention Genshin Impact. That's why I got them all set up, spinning the wheel on my favorite gotcha games. Gotcha game is the genre, it doesn't count. How else is a man supposed to make his impact? That's a reference, ladies and gentlemen! We got him! You refrigerated a preschool for fucking JPEGs. <laughs> you think I made the market for gone, you jack? Like every casino is just a big old conspiracy? Bullshit! Game. Damn, son! It's just a part of who we are. I just marketed to sexy children. <laughs> what the fuck is he saying? What is he saying? My man wrote this script. He's like, mm, yeah, I just marketed to sexy children. That was in the script. Besides, demand for my products is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after 9-11. What the fuck is he saying? Wait a minute, 9-11 is bad. Speak for- Wow! My man just has the balls to say that in a video? This guy and Hassan don't get along, do they? Yourself. Let's debate this on the roof. Looks like you're a gotcha player at heart. Is that because of my brain damage? No, it's because you go after children. And there ain't enough room in this preschool for the two of us. This is the worst conversation ever. Now I do need to focus. Like I said, kids are cruel, Jack, and I love my- <laughs> Stop it, please! Please, this is the worst conversation ever! Welcome to the, the Bastard, featuring his tax shield. This battle is comprised of two distinct phases, each one easier than the last. And for some reason, a helicopter. Go, go, gadget, concealed carry. In his first phase, we simulate beating to death a cheeky goblin using money to compensate that, for his lack that. of human empathy. And by the second phase, it's quite <laughs> obvious why he does it. This means it's up to us to cut each shield individually so we can play the game. And yes, you explode when you miss. Not only this, but his health is the length of a Cambodian life in 1977, meaning once you get past that, the fight is basically over. In fact, it's quite easy to just not get past his shields ever and straight up kill him the fungular entertainment way, featuring Sheldon Cooper from the Big Bong Sorority. But if you do this, okay. you're basically annihilating all enjoyment from orbit. I personally recommend standing there and just waiting for Jeff to, uh, present. So enjoy that second phase while you can, because this music is a gift from God. Dude, 
wait, was that an Among Us gift? Did I not even notice? I was so invested in the, the freaking child molesting jokes that, uh, which were hilarious, by the way, and not at all gonna get me canceled. Oh my god! I didn't even see this little bastard! So enjoy that second phase while you can, because this music is a gift from God. I'm fucking invincible! This is as bad shit as it looks. Dude, my man just Zoroed him. Can you tell that's my favorite song? I upgrade Raiden's item. As we board a helicopter being driven by a de uh, de doctor, how did you get an aircraft? <laughs> oh, credit card debt. Of course. By the way, Raiden, do you remember that bank you sent to the past tense? It was like carving a pumpkin. Well, I think you missed one. I can't go to prison, Raiden. Why? Because he played Genshin? No. Hey! First of all, a reference. That's number nine. Second of all, because they hate pedophiles in prison. Raiden, I'm a Nazi. Well, time to kill myself. What the fuck are you talking about? There's so much Hearts of Iron to play. I'm gonna not see you. Dude, you don't even need to kill yourself anymore. You just moved to Canada. They have assisted suicide now for homeless people. That, that's that's the new meta. You in a second. Not today, I guess. So, Doctor tries to kill Raiden anyways, and he responds by dividing the public. The hard way. So Raiden hits his head so badly that he lands in a, uh, a uh, different game. The <laughs> volume is a little bit up. You know, it's just slightly, up. Uh, it's kind of loud. The graphics are, um, a little different. Raiden heads to the gas station and uses the Zandatsu to cut through the environment. What, what, why? Environment dynamically. Yeah, that, uh, that seems like how it works. This isn't even Metal Gear Rising anymore. I'm just playing Roblox games. Raiden survives the impact of a sedan when I was a child and gets utterly destroyed in Denver again, just like me on a Saturday night and is forced to play a previous level, but backwards. Thank you, level designer. Some video games, basically, their meta is, all right, so there needs to be one level that's just the shadow version of the previous level. <laughs> and it's like, wait a second, I've done this before, yes. But this is the shadow version. Oh shit, a free bike. Don't worry, it's a rental. There are rumors that the Nords are attempting to capture the whole of Soul's time. That's rough, buddy. Anyone looking for work should consider the Fighters Guild. I hear they're always looking for new recruits. Raiden, you ran over a child nine miles back. What are you going to do? Good day. Yay! Oh, so now you decide to stop. I'm running late. Oh, don't worry, Raiden. The clown college is closer than you oh, think. Yeah, yeah, it's right in front of me. <laughs> Kill yourself. Your ass will Good always one. be cringe, and my ass will always, always be, be fake. fake. For I tried. 97 North Parker Drive. Oh, good. <laughs> You're getting more based by the day. More but based. I live with my mother. Is this her house? God damn, look at that squat, though. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. In this duel between two equally matched swordsmen of various speeds, it's up to us to defeat the weakest Brazilian male. This guy's out here. <laughs> the weakest Brazilian male. Shows a picture of Toguro at 100% of his power from Yu Yu Hakusho. Making the rainforest look like a fucking joke. And the best part is, there's no bullshit in this fight. No minions, no shields, no monsoon telling me about fucking Among Us. It's just you. That's number 10, baby. The sunset and the soil. This is the best boss ever, holy shit. Right in disarms Wham Slam Bam Sam, which causes him to lose his McFucking marbles. And this somehow makes the fight harder. I mean, he straight up punches you like he's in goddamn Yakuza. Hey Raiden, look at this cool bug I found. Oh Raiden, no need to flip out. Dude got- <laughs> You see what he did there? Thunder thighs bigger than the power grid. Sam will test every single neuron in your corpus- eh, that was a Among Us sound effect. Colossum with unrelenting and dangerous attacks, strong enough to burn a hole in my Adderall supply. It's not a drug problem, it's a drug solution. And that is just phase one. God help you when he picks up that sword again. His montages are just so good. Playtime! 
is over. Guess I don't have a choice. I challenge you to a debate. What the fuck? No. Dies of cringe. <laughs> Love. So Raiden goes to inspect his kill like a cat, only to realize that he has no cybernetic enhancement. This man dunked on Raiden harder than Kobe after he threw an Ava unit, and he did it by juicing. Raiden steals his Clifford the Bro. Big Red Sword with a 5-star gotcha rarity and 33% crit rate. Yep, yep, 13. What? Thank you, thank you, yep. Raiden, you have a motorcycle. Why are you sprinting there? Why don't we just relax and turn on the radio? Would you like ammo? Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, that's good. <laughs> Damn, dog, give me some of that. Raiden McFucking breaks into NASA so he can go somewhere quickly. You see, the current president, George Bush, has made a horse race across America. That way, I love JoJo so much. Wait, he can assemble all of the votes and activate the guns of the Patriot Act. But to understand what that yeah, means, yeah, yeah. we have to head to a previous game. It's Metal Gear Solid 4 again, and the Clinton Foundation controls the entire planet. The only thing standing in their way is the now unsolid snake, because he's old. David, I want you to meet someone very important to me. His name is Jello Snake. Joe Biden. Not again! Not again. <laughs> Actual Joe Biden dialogue! I have kept him alive. <laughs> oh, I'm using the miracle of child sacrifice. We choose truth over facts! And I'm gonna choose death over life. Wow, that sure made everything easy to understand. Oh my god, it's my dad! Oh fuck up, I've returned! With a puppy. <laughs> yeah, anyways, do you know where daddy can buy some cigarettes? Last time you got those, you disappeared for 10 years. I know. So have you ever heard of NFT trading? No, uh, what is that? Well, you start by buying a monkey. Can you feed the monkey? Nah, but you can sell it for a rocket or some shit. That's great, honey. I'll be right back. Now with our transportation acquired, we blast off into fucking space. Our goal is to reach the utopia of Pakistan and stop the evil empire of America from initiating yet another military incursion oh, yeah. called Operation Tecumse. Finally, I have tracked down down the great Satan to his source. Now this cliff will make me a martyr. <laughs> Fuck. Jock al Radin goes to the base so as to convince the boot boys the error of their ways and appear on Indian news networks to justify nuclear okay. conflict. Raiden, have you heard of the hit game Among Us? You I was, what? That, like, there is no, no even comedic reason for that to be there. It just is. He stuffs Among Us in this video as much as he possibly can. That, that wasn't like a sound effect. That wasn't sus. Man, just like for no reason, because it says the word vent. <laughs> Need to vent, right? And I know it will be hard to be sus. You might notice something funny about this level. It Does that count as one or three? <laughs> so it's three rooms. The developers fucking gave up, so so do I. There's another one. Meow. There we go. Raiden plays the real game until he finds the cast of iCarly. Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state when nearly 14 million years, years ago, ago Raiden discovers he do his that? He just reads like cringe American TV intros. After being made into a Family Guy episode. I, you, I literally, I say Family Guy and he makes a Family Guy reference. Like, th there's no way, this man, he has a supercomputer plugged into the future. No, I wanted to feed you that chocolate before a gigantic McFucking crab evolves from the goddamn soil like a thousand year old cicada. What the fuck? Uh, well, if it isn't Sussy Jack. Bro. That's another one. Are you high? Let me check. Yes. High on American spirit. I freaking love Max or so much. And there's nothing more American. <laughs> and there's nothing more American than shooting a man in this Walmart of a world. What is Walmart? It's heaven, Raiden. Check the internet Make lately. It. Raiden, hop on Twitter. You need to see this. Fuck, I hate this website. It's all fucking weep shit. People? We, we got another one. Oh, fucking weep shit, right? It doesn't make any sense. They're being distracted with other nonsense. These baboons don't even know they're at war with Pakistan. This one's calling me a Redditor. And that's just the beginning. E-girls, gotcha, memes, all just petty distractions so real yes. men can get down to business. Yes. Amogus. What? The, why? 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 J j for no reason. It's like he had a quota he wanted to fill. It was either a quota that he wanted to fill, or the fact that he just didn't have anything for Raiden to respond. So he's just, ah, we'll just make him say Amogus. Amogus. And as you know, American imperialism is absolutely justified, because we had a black president once. That's true, he makes a good point. Before I fucking killed him. That's a nice argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is? My source is that I made it the fuck up. That's the greatest line in the history of everything. Imagine a world ride in free of cancel culture, where no one can what? call me out for my outlandish claims. A world where I can say the N-word. What? 
In this battle against Microsoft Excel, we are faced with a boss too large to be fun and are relegated to enduring his onslaught from the inside of the Forever Box. This battle is a classic case of wait for him to do anything, just like Congress. And like Congress, when he does do something, it usually hurts you. Fortunately, this music is excellent and fits one-to-one -one with All I Want for Christmas. I'm not joking, although for some reason Biden can parry several tons of crush force. Maybe my sister could have done that against my Although, can I just make an incredibly outlandish statement? Every massive larger-than-life boss is not great. They're just annoying. Like the dragon bosses in Elden Ring, or the Elden Beast in Elden Ring. Those are way worse than, like, Radan. Tiptat. Raiden suplexes the giant lobster for the second time today. Then he yanks off his arm to have a sword fight with it. Every other game is now worse because they don't have this. Check it out, Raiden. I just got vaccinated. Oh god, he's hot. Time to hit the gym. I don't have much. I don't know, Jack. Maybe your face could use some work. Damn. Hope you can afford healthcare, Raiden, because the taxpayer can't. What the fuck is he saying? It's funny because thousands of people die. Don't fuck, ah, yeah. fuck with this, Senator. What? Snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> Typical politician. All cock, but no cum. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best quote I've ever heard! Land of opportunity. American dream. It's all bullshit. The success of a nation is determined by materialistic and socioeconomic factors. Read a fucking book. <laughs> The truth, then. Us politicians aren't so trustworthy. We'll steal, make shit up, even lie to our voters. That's crazy. I know it's very hard to believe, but that's just what the <laughs> USA is all about, Jack. Not hiding our theft and murder, but embracing it. Whether it's votes, whether it's money, especially money. Fuck all these limp dick YouTubers and chicken shit Redditors. Yeah! We killed Jeffrey Epstein! This 24-7 internet spew of Discord and VTuber Bullshit! I'm gonna build a new future, Jack. Yeah. One where we won't have to hide our stealing from anyone. And for that, I want you by my side. To build a world truly free from the consequences of our actions. Just like the Founding Fathers intended. Yes! You say, Raiden, why not try to say it? Just once. I was wrong about you, Senator. You're not cringe. Democrats and Republicans agreeing on which third world nation to vaporize. <laughs> Man is literally a comedic genius. Oh my god. You're just fucking racist. Pussy <laughs> too. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that was an Among Us sound effect. What the fuck was that? God damn it! We're making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. I'm sorry, Senator, but this is my Metal Gear Rising revengeance. Damn! He said the thing! He said the thing! It's just too many, too many cat strongest dream fan versus weakest Magsaur subscriber. So true. You need to work on your fitness. What? Fitness dick in your mouth. My blood is red, white, and blue, Jack. I wonder what color yours is. Wait. Raiden. Brian Griffin. You can't get- <laughs> What the fuck is going on? Next reaction, we're gonna see how many Family Guy references- But yet, think about every mentally deranged moron you've fought up until this point. You've always had the strength to overcome, whether it was violence in movies, movies or, or sex, sex on, on TV. TV! I literally told you he was gonna quote the opening to Family Guy! I was always lucky there was a Family Guy. Even if your IQ was the room temperature of Alaska, you are the best Chia pet ever made. Sam put a fucking speaker in his sword. <laughs> That's right, I finally uploaded my consciousness into my gaming setup. Raiden, the reason you're cringe is not because because you ain't skilled, but because you ain't ballin' on that stank-ass Windows 95 pewter. Even in death, he's on crack. Just this once, I'll lend you my setup so you can know what it's like to be a real gamer. You're my li- 
You just missed the dog champ. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I've always said my it's a sharing a brain. Song. My sword was a tool of justice, not a weapon, but a way to bring back those good old fashioned values upon which we used, used to rely. To I, I, I told you it was coming. But oh. this isn't my sword. It's a fucking mistake. Hey, what's up guys? Maxor here. Welcome to the final bond. You know, he can be a... This guy's a little, uh... You know, he's pretty hard. We're here after extensive cutscenes to finally teach America that violence is never a solution. It's a question, and the answer is yes. yes. <laughs> I love that quote, too. I'm praying, boy. Ah! Dwayne The Rock Johnson's immense strength and talent for volcanic eruptions comes from his... I mean... I guess. ...ability to switch between a culture vulture and Obama at will, channeling the yeah. power of both races to whoop your ass back to Roblox. But among his many racial talents, our buff buzzard is fast, has a great singing voice, and possesses forklift certification. When Let's you go. die, it will be in accordance with OSHA regulations. But after spending enough time in the oven, our athletic aesthetic disarms Raiden and reports to his chiropractor for an adjustment. This guy beats up more biracial people than a police officer. Arms... Dude, he doesn't stop. Strong even has the power to receive the light of Allah, which bestows upon him miraculous healing wisdom. Needless to say, this fight is fantastic. <laughs> Combining and expanding on every Dude, skill- I love his, de his description of fights! ...acquired on our long and arduous journey for a final battle that truly tests our mettle. This isn't even the first time Raiden has stabbed a politician to death, but if I get my way, it won't be the fucking last. Yeah, JoJo reference! Let's freaking go! This montage slaps harder than my dad. Damn, son. You know, I'm starting to have a change of heart. Yeah, I can tell. That's why you're the best, Jack. You always wore my heart on your sleeve. <laughs> If I hear another goddamn pun. If you kill me, Jack, you'll finally be free. Free to follow your heart. Okay, that's it, buddy. Damn, son. And in other news, a United States senator tragically passed away this morning after a botched open heart surgery. Honey, can we- Of course, of course. Please, please stop watching obituaries. You'll be on there next if you don't shut the fuck up. Oh shit, my Blackberry. Good news, Jonathan. We've got a new job opening for you. Ah, that's great, Doc. Yeah, anyways, it's for a ninja cyborg. Ninja cyborg? Doesn't Raiden do that? Oh yes, Raiden. Uh huh. Well, um, the police might be after him for that vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> manslaughter, Doctor? I did that shit on purpose. Bro. This video was phenomenal. Maxor, you freaking mad lad. Your content is so goddamn good. Bro. Watching this video, something was absolutely rising, and it was not Metal Gear. It was not the Shield Hero. It was my dick!